students welcome to my channel today we will learn about fractions so let's start what is fraction a fraction is a number that represents a part of a whole it is written in the form of numerator divided by the denominator the numerator is the top number and the denominator is the bottom number in the fraction for example 3 upon 4 3 is numerator and 4 is denominator. Here, 3 represents the number of shaded parts and 4 represents the total number of equal parts the figure is divided into. Let's take a real life example. Suppose you went to a restaurant with your friends. You ordered a pizza of 6 slices and one of your friends ate 2 slices. So, 4 slices remained. Fraction of remaining slices is 4 upon 6. So, let's move ahead. Here, each figure represents one unit. All parts must be equal. In first figure, circle is divided into two equal parts. One is shaded. So, fraction of shaded parts is one half. Here, one is number of shaded parts and two is total number of equal parts of a circle. In second figure, circle is divided into three equal parts. One is shaded, so fraction is one third. In next, circle is divided in four equal parts and out of these, one is shaded. So fraction is one fourth. Similarly, in remaining figures, total number of equal parts is increasing, but shaded part remain one. So numerator will remain one. But denominator will change as number of total equal parts change. We can represent fraction through strips. In first figure, a strip has two equal parts. So one part is shaded. So fraction is one half or one upon two. In second figure, a strip has three equal parts. One part is shaded, so fraction is one third or one upon three. In third figure, a strip has four equal parts. Three parts are shaded, fraction is three fourth or three upon four. We can show fraction on number line also. Line starts from zero and at end one. We divide the line in two equal parts and mark it one half. Next, we divide the line in three equal parts. And mark the points 1 upon 3, 2 upon 3. Next, now divide the line in 4 equal parts. And mark the points 1 upon 4, 2 upon 4 and 3 upon 4. Now, try to solve these questions. In these questions, you have to fill missing fraction numbers. In these, choose the right fraction out of 4 choices given. You can see the answers in the comment box. I hope you understood the concept taught in this video. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.